There comes a point at which the world decides that being ruled by piratical brigands is not the only way. It cannot be the best way. That there must be a better way. And I kind of feel that the world has decisively now decided that. I think that's why uh, all kinds of countries, some of them the most unlikely of allies, like Saudi Arabia, are joining the BRICS. It's why more than half of the world's population and well over half of the world's wealth is now in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. It's why nobody is paying attention to US diktat and demands. South Africa ha was ordered by the United States to seize a super yacht belonging to a Russian plutocrat, a Russian uh, oligarch. They never do explain why Russian oligarchs are worse than British and American oligarchs, but they ordered South Africa and uh, whatever criticisms I'd make about the current government of South Africa, the president sent them away with a flea in their ear. Uh, Ramaphosa said South Africa has no obligation to obey sanctions introduced by the EU or the United States of America, and we have no intention of doing so. And he went on to make the point that all of these European and North American countries had been friends of apartheid when only Russia and Cuba were on the side of the African National Congress which Ramaphosa now leads. Uh, so more and more people, I'm not saying all of them for ethical reasons. I'm not accusing MBS of Saudi Arabia of having a sudden outbreak of ethics, but of self-interest. They realize that the wind has changed, that the tables have turned, that the tectonic plates are shifting, and the first one now will later be last. Thank <laughs> you.